Arkansas sets another record high day in the pandemic today. The Arkansas Department of Health reporting the highest number of hospitalizations yet at 1,195. Currently, 209 Arkansans are on ventilators. There are an additional 2,708 cases across the state. And sadly, an additional 39 people have died. The governor today encouraging everyone to be safe this New Year's Eve. With COVID-19 cases on a constant increase and hospitalizations at an all-time high, smaller communities are under major stress. The city of Clarksville is seeing its medical personnel strained and space in their hospital is limited. As a result, the mayor issued an executive order to close down public facilities in the city. Our Claire Kreitz spoke with the mayor about this order and has more on why this decision was made. All city parks, playgrounds, swimming areas, and any other indoor or outdoor public facility will be closed starting tomorrow. It's a decision Mayor David Reeder didn't take lightly, but says the report he got from medical personnel Monday could not be ignored. The situation had changed quite dramatically. The COVID-19 pandemic taking a turn for the worst in Clarksville as the cases spike and hospital rooms fill. We're seeing a um, substantial stress on our medical staff and uh, bed availability. This forcing Mayor David Reeder to issue this executive order. Starting January 1st, all city parks, playgrounds, swimming areas, restrooms, and other indoor and outdoor facilities will be closed to the public. Those areas where people tend to gather in bunch, uh, we, we're limiting access to those for a temporary period of time. He also encourages employees to trade the office for the living room if possible. Kind of like what we did back in phase one. If, if folks can work from home, we're going to allow them to do it. Where we can um, protect people, we're going to and give them an option to be safe. Mayor Reeder says he hopes this directive will bring the numbers down, which will in turn free up space in the hospitals. Maybe give them an opportunity to catch their breath and catch up to the, to the uh, pace of the uh, number of cases that we were seeing. He also wants the community to know this pandemic is far from over. We're not out of this virus by a long shot. The directive goes until January 15th. Reader says he can lift the order early if the cases drop and hospital space is freed. Back to you. All right, Claire, thank you very much.